Good evening, Timothy Citizen Jones, 16 Dustin Avenue. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm here to speak tonight about the anticipated lawsuit which will occur two days from now against the state. I'm assuming that resolving the question regarding who is responsible for maintaining state-owned sidewalks will be on the list of complaints. It ought to be, because it is probably the item with the best legal footing that we have. But I'm concerned that previous action taken by this board may weaken our case. A motion to maintain state-owned sidewalks to the Board of Selectmen was proposed by a state entity called Hampton Beach Area Commission, <coughs> also known as HBAC. It was presented by its then chairman, John Nyan. It was in May of 2016. Nyan prevented this, presented this proposal with materially false information. Later, when questioned on this point by the Hampton Union, Nyan's response was, it was an honest mistake on my part. Honest or not, it was a mistake. The, 20, the 2012 Warren article in question is Article 31, the dirty one. Nyan's motion, 2016 motion, got a 3-2 majority from the Board of Selectmen, while the 2012 Warren Article 31, the dirty one, was opposed by a supermajority of voters well over 60 percent. Nyan's other statements before this board on that night were interlaced with other falsehoods which I do not have time to delineate here. Generally, those who hold public office reasonably decide matters on the information placed in front of them, relying on the assumption that they are not being given false information. With this in mind, this board's vote was somewhat understandable. Whether Nyan's so-called mistake, as he calls it, was intentional or not, it should be of no importance tonight. What is important is to minimize any potential damage. This board needs to rectify Nyan's 2016 Board of Selectmen motion, as well as flying in the face of the citizens' vote, it could weaken our position in the legal process. If you don't nullify the 2016 vote on Nyan's motion, the town's position may be weakened, both in court and during any negotiation process. After all, if you've already surrendered on that point, then it won't be at the negotiating table now, will it? It will not be a point of negotiation. And you're giving up what is potentially your most strongest legal point. I encourage you tonight, before filing, to nullify the previous vote on Nyan's motion so that our negotiation position will not be weakened. And so the Board of Selectmen and the citizens can be better united on this issue. Clearly, the state is solely responsible to maintain state-owned property. We must hold firm on this, right, Phil? Let the voice of the citizens vote carry the weight of action at the Board of Selectmen that it ought to have. Thank you.